Hey guys, it's me, Mia, and welcome back to my channel called Mia Sketchbook. Thank you for stopping by, and also thank you for liking, commenting, as well as subscribing. So, in today's video, I'm going to do an art supply haul, and I have quite a bit of stuff, so let's get into it right now. So, this is a set of colored pencils. I got this from Michaels. It's Colors of the World. <clears throat> Pardon me. 24 colors. And they're supposed to be skin tones. So here are the colors right here. And I like to use colored pencils for sketching purposes. Or if I'm doing color studies, I don't necessarily use colored pencils to create art. So I'm looking forward to trying these out. So right here, I have tubes of watercolor paint, Windsor and Newton Cotman, and I pretty much got primary colors, permanent rose, cadmium yellow hue, intense blue, aka phthalo blue, cobalt blue, and hooker's green. These were on sale at the art supply store for $6 a piece. And then I also got these tiny little brushes, sizes one through five. So this is a travel watercolor set. It's called Amy Tangerine. Just going to take it out the box. And it looks like an eyeglass case. Let me see if I can open it. There we go. Yeah, so here we go. Here are the pans. Comes with a watercolor brush, the ones with the barrel. You can fill it with water. A little bottle you can fill water up with. Sponge. A pen. And an HB pencil. This is really small and compact. This can really fit in my purse. Okay, so here is a new watercolor set that I got. It's called White Knights. And I know this is a really good brand. Let's see, let me take this out. It's a little on the expensive side. I'm used to buying, you know, cheaper priced watercolor sets, but I decided to splurge and get something um, a little more high-end. And this is a really good brand, like I said. I haven't used it yet. Let me zoom out a little bit so you guys can see. So, I believe these are uh, 36 colors. Yeah, 36 colors. Full pans. Let's take one out. And I hope you guys can see. I'm standing by the window trying to get as much daylight as possible, but it's kind of dreary today. Looking forward to using this. And this is a really big mixing area right here. I like that. Yeah, this side too. Oh, this is cool. Little swatch card. Okay, so, yes, this is another watercolor set. This is Schminky. And, oh boy, I have to splurge on the Schminky set. Like I said, I'm only using cheap watercolors, and I decided I'm going to get some high-quality watercolors. So this is Schminky, and this is, let me see how many pans are in here. I believe there are 48 and these are half pans. Let me see. We could take one of these out. Kind of hard to take out. Oh, here we go. Kind of blurry. But these are half pans. And here we go. And this also has a swatch card, cool. And 
The swatches are all done on the left hand side, which is good. Can't wait to use this one. Okay, so that's it for the watercolor. Now let's move on to gouache. And gouache is a medium that I'm just now learning how to use. Actually, I, I started practicing with it about a year or two ago, but I don't know, it's different. It's different than watercolor. It's different than acrylic. So I'm still getting used to how to use it correctly. But anyway, this is the Arteza gouache set. This is their metallic gouache set. I have Arteza's regular um, gouache set, but this one is the metallic gouache. And as you can see, it's still in a plastic. I haven't used it yet. This is the Hemi gouache set. And these are really popular. Like, I've seen these on Amazon for a while, but they suddenly became popular, like, late last year. And this is quite heavy. This feels like 10 pounds? Something like that. So here's the mixing area. And here's the card. Oh, wow. Comes with these brushes. And... Let's take one of these bad boys out. Ooh, nice and jelly. This looks like it could be fun to use. I can't wait to try this. So, this is, here are two more gouache sets that I got. I never heard of this brand before. It's called Talon's Art Creation. I got it from the art supply store. It was only $13. I said, why not? And here are the colors. And this is the Turner Acrylic Gouache. And from what I've learned about acrylic gouache, you know, when you apply it, it looks like wash, but it has the staying power of acrylic. So we shall see. I haven't used it yet. Let's see if I can take this band off. There we go. I actually like the matte look of gouache. Okay, wow. These are some nice colors. Oh, well, check out this opera red and this violet. Love those two colors. Looking forward to using this set. Okay, so now we're moving to paper. So this is a cool little sketchbook. It says sketchbook on it. And I got it from Ross for $4.99. Yeah, Ross has some pretty good sketchbooks. I wouldn't I wouldn't sleep on Ross. They have really good sketchbooks. And this paper is nice and thick. And it says, yeah, $4.99, 120 pages, 7.6 by 10. That's a good size for me. Asset free, 180 grams per square meter. Suitable for both wet and dry media. Hmm, I'm not sure about the wet media. Maybe I can experiment. That's what sketchbooks are for, experimenting. Let me put this to the side. So, here's another sketchbook that I got. Kawai Noor, I think that's how you pronounce it. Heavy drawing paper. And I actually have another sketchbook by this same brand. I think it's Bristol paper. But I use it for my marker art. This here, I don't think I can use for markers. But the pages can easily come out. They're perforated. And the pages just... Pretty much slide out. I'm not going to take this page out, but you get the idea. So this is a cute little, I think it's 5x5 five five watercolor sketchbook. Got this from Amazon. So pretty. Very pretty. And has a little band to keep the book closed, and you can put your pen right here. 
I guess you can use it any way you want to. I guess this way. Or perhaps this way. It looks like you can use the front and the back of the paper. Okay, and then here's a little pocket too. And I have this. This is black watercolor postcards. And I really haven't had a chance to work with black watercolor paper. I have metallic watercolors. I have like two sets. I do have a um, a pad of black watercolor paper. I believe it's 8 by 10 I haven't used it yet. <laughs> but I will. I will. Eventually. But these are the postcards. And there are 25. Alright you guys. So, still working on paper. So this is a colored pencil sketchbook. And like I said, I don't use colored pencils to create art. I just use it for sketching. And I will be sketching with colored pencils in this sketchbook. It's by Strathmore. And this is a really nice size. Six by eight. This is an acrylic sketchbook. It's by Graham Batcher. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. And the pages can come in and out. And what size is this? Yeah, it's 9 by 12, 140 pounds, 300 GSMs. I'm not sure if... I don't know if watercolor would work on here. Like, the surface of this feels very smooth and slick. I don't think it's cotton. But yeah, you guys, it's getting to the point where I don't want to paint on canvases anymore. Canvases, they take up a lot of space, and then after I paint something, you know, I, I put it in storage, and, you know, the canvases just take up a lot of space. So I said, you know, I'm going to start painting on acrylic paper. At least with paper, you can store it easily. And it doesn't take up too much space. So the next sketchbook I got from an art supply store called Opus. And Opus is an art supply store in Canada. And this was pretty cheap. I can't remember how much it was. But the pages are a nice bright white color. So this is Strathmore tone blue mixed media paper and I don't know it doesn't look that blue to me it's like a very old faded blue color but I decided to give it a chance so I got this and another thing that I got was Canson pastel paper now I got this last year with a palletful packs box and I actually gave it away to some really cool kids so they can have something to do at home because, you know, that was around March or April or so. So I gave that to them so they can have some art supplies to play around with while they were in a house. And so I got this here. Different colored paper. I like this shade of blue compared to this one. So, this is Canson. This is Strathmore. I like the Canson blue paper. Okay, we're almost done, you guys. So, here I have Arches oil paper. And I have this set of oil paints that I got from Michaels. I can't remember how much it was, but when I find out, I'll post it in the description. But I would really like to learn how to use oil paints. Okay, you guys, so I forgot a couple things when I was doing the watercolors that I bought. This is another watercolor set. It's called Graf Graficent Paint Pan Set, unique blend of graphic paint with color for dramatic tonal work. So I'm assuming it's like watercolor. I'm not sure. I have to experiment. Muted colors with a graphite sheen. Hmm. Interesting. And 
Here is watercolor ground. It's something I would like to experiment with. Apparently you can put it on surfaces like wood or metal or even plastic and paint over it with watercolor. So definitely going to experiment with the watercolor ground. The next thing I got is this paintbrush basin. Yeah, this watercolor basin. So let's take it out the plastic. Because right now when I use watercolors, I'm just using like empty spaghetti jars. I wanted something a little more nice. Okay, so here's the lid. And little mixing wells. Okay. And you have these little grooves down here to help take excess paint off the brush when you're cleaning it. And these are the brush holders. Really nice. Can't wait to use it. The next thing I have is this pencil pouch. And my cat chewed up the bag right here. She she does stuff like that. I don't know why she chews on plastic. But this is turquoise. My favorite color. I love turquoise and purple. And this is a really nice pencil pouch. So there's a pocket here. And let me see on this side. Okay, you have these little compartments where you can hold your pencils, your pens, pencil sharpener, eraser. The days are getting longer which means the weather is going to get warmer. And when that happens, I am going to be outside with my pencil pouch and a sketchbook and my iced coffee. All right, and this brand is called Angu, and I got this from Amazon. Okay, you guys, so we have, we're almost done. I want to show you two new books that I got. The first one is called Botanicum, Welcome to the Museum. And I got this from Amazon. And this book is really big. Like, they sent it to me in this big box. I guess it doesn't fit in the envelope. But it has, like, beautiful uh, plant illustrations. Here. I'll show you some of it. So this is algae right here, some more plants, ginkgo, oh that's, this is beautiful, and there is one other page that I liked, this one of the rainforest, love it. So that's Botanicum. And the next book I got is Anatomicum from the same series, Welcome to the Museum. And this book, let me turn it around. Now, so this book has illustrations of anatomy. Nice. Okay, you guys, so that's it. That's my art supply haul. I'll link everything in the description so you can check it out. If there's any item in particular that you want me to review, just let me know in the comments section and I'll, I'll make a video. So once again, thanks for stopping by and I'll see you next time on Mia's Sketchbook. Bye!